Hi, it's Ann from the Useless Crafter for 12 by 12 Cardstock Shop. So I am super obsessed with wrapping paper and making the present look amazing, just as much as as good as the present itself. <laughs> so today I want to focus on this is the Nina Star Dream pearlescent cardstock. I know it's a mouthful, but I want to show you and it's so hard sometimes to showcase how beautiful the paper actually is in person but you can see the name is very accurate here there's like a pearl um, finishing on top so you can kind of see it in the blue it has like a little silver sheen to it if I can you know describe it that way and then you can kind of see it in the red here is the white. The white is very pearl-ish. Like if I had to make pearls, for instance, this is the paper I would go and use. Here is a, a red and then there's two different shades of yellow that I'm using. So you can kind of see. It just really makes it, I don't know, it's that finishing touch. But anyway, this is what we're going to do today. We are going to make a banner. So this banner, actually what I'm showing you can be a cake topper, can be a banner for like your party. And in this case, it's going to be a banner that's going to go on a wrapped gift. <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. So I cut out a bunch of hearts in the three different colors. The only paper that I added that's not the pearlescent cardstock is I have this white. It's the basil Swiss dots, which I just love because it gives that extra, um, I don't know, like a little bit of personality with the dots. And then also I love using multiple colors um, or mul the same color, but in multiple uh, types of cardstock. So if I'm using white, I love having, you know, like your different options. Here is the pearlescent on the for the eye and then a plainer white just to give it a little bit more oomph to it, but it's still cohesive because the colors are all still the same. All right, so let's get started. There is always, when you're working with my projects, I like to layer. So I like to use foams, um, foam stickers or foam tape, and that just gives it a little bit of height or depth. And then we're gonna do that for all, for everything. Anything that is easy to do, sometimes the letters are too thin and so for that we'll just tape it down or glue it down all right so let's get started i'm going to move the hearts to the side now with the banner this is what i like to do we're definitely going to you know put the foam tape in between so that it's going to you know stick up stick out a little bit but the back is where we're going to have the ribbon um, and I like doing this because it's easy to loop through and then you'll have the ribbon coming out. So let me show you the color that we're actually using. So we're using this. This is going to kind of match my green for the ribbon around the present. And then this is our color scheme, right? I'm going to use the green straw. So I've, I didn't have any green in the banner, but it's sort of like a rainbow-ish because here's the wrapping paper. So it's all kind of just going to come together. So, all right, let's get started. Um, so let's, you know, add the depth to anything that we can. So that's going to be like this, right? Um, but we'll do this. We're going to string it first so that we have it ready to go. So let me get the t ribbon out. And I like to cut a lot of ribbon. I give myself a lot of room. So that way we have more options as to how far apart the banner is going to be. Okay, now I know our present's not that big, but this is not where we're going to get cheap. <laughs> so let's pull out our ribbon. We can always trim. So here's my ribbon. And you'll see that stringing this is really easy as well. And you're not gonna see the seed in the back. So we're gonna string it like this. Look how easy that is. So it's thick rectangles. And then I'm gonna loop it through here. And then loop the last one. I know I used to do the circles and then I realized this is so much easier. 
Okay, so we have that down, so that's gonna hang like this, right? And then we have it on the side, so this can still move. And what's nice is we're gonna put this on top, but we'll put the foam tape kind of down here so we can still move and adjust the ribbon. Now I have my um, glue gun on the side already heated up because I do like to have, because this is gonna have a lot of movement, it's a present, it's gonna be moving around. I do want to, on top of adding, um, on top of doing the foam tape, I also want to do a little bit of the glue just to make sure that it's going to stay. So I am flipping this over. I'm gonna put down our foam tape here. And it looks like it's not completely, there is a front and back. Oh, duh. I could see the dots on this side, so I thought it was the same on both sides, but there's clearly a front side and a back side, so. Um, we'll put that down. We're just gonna layer right now and it's gonna be so cute. Now while I'm doing this, I will remind you guys that we love to get your special requests. So if you wanna learn how to do something, um, post it in comments, reach out to us. That way we can research, so. All right, so here's our first one. And I'm just gonna put it on top. Oops, whoa. It would be good if I layered it properly. There we go. <laughs> so I'll put it down first like this, and then at the end, I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit and stick my glue gun in and get that down. Oh, I didn't put it on. Pull this up a little bit. Do you ever have those moments where it's just like you can't line it up even though you know it should line up? What is going on with me today? All right, here we go. Much better. All right, so there's our first one. And then the hearts, I kind of just wanna, we'll build them and then we can either put them on the present or on the banner. So that way it just pulls everything together and we're not committed to anything. But if this was a party and you were doing like a real banner and not just putting it on a gift to give away, then the hearts would be nice to have around your dessert table or your food. And so it just pulls together the whole theme. All right, so our banner is down. I mean, just look at how cute that is. And the paper is so pretty. I really, really wish sometimes that you, we could get a really good picture of it. I will try, because I feel like a lot of times when you go outside to take pictures, so if you follow our accounts on Instagram, you'll be able to see more pictures. Now for these, because it is kind of thin, I don't really want to have to cut down on the tape. So I'm just going to take scratch paper. I like using my Tombow permanent adhesive, which is, whoa. Who do I pull it? Oh, here it is. I knew I had it. <laughs> so this is just my favorite. It's so easy to use. Um, you can refill it, so push it back. This is at the bottom, and then you're going to put the glue on. So flip it over. It's super sticky. And then we're just gonna put it down. Now with any of these um, adhesive like tape, um, and in this case, this one, you wanna just put down a lot of pressure so that your, your tape is anchored to the top piece and the bottom piece. That way it's not gonna come apart. So um, I guess in the, with the companies, they actually call it pressure vinyl because it's the pressure that applies the, the stickiness and get it, gets it to anchor. So here is my eye. I'll put it right there. This one though, 
we're going to put foam tape and have it kind of pop up. So I'll put that aside for a second. Let's do our S. I'll lift it up. Oh, it would be good if I had it the right way. There we go. Like that was not a good outline. Here we go. There's my S and then let's do the X. Now with this though, it always has like when there's um, like a side to it, there's a little bit of webbing. So what I like to do, and I'm not gonna use this one, that was not a good idea. Hold on, let me get some other tool. You can take like this tool and just kind of pop the webbing. It's a lot easier to clean up your wet webbing now like the glue webbing than it is once you put it down because once you put it down it's going to show on the blue paper for instance so you're going to want to to pop it beforehand all right so there is my x and it's hard to see on here but this is more of like a pinkish and this is more red i don't know if you can see but there is a difference all right Let's flip this around and put our foam tape on and then we'll put it on the banner. Now, whenever I'm doing, um, using the foam tape, I always wanna make sure that, for instance, the eye, that I put it on both sides so that it stays balanced. Um, if you put it, you know, just one up here, then this side will not be parallel to the whole piece. So you just wanna make sure that you um, space it so that it's, you know, it'll stay even and balanced and we're going through all this effort, let's do it right. <laughs> and this one, I'm actually gonna put one more down over here. Okay, so I'm pressing it down, making sure that it's anchored to the bottom and then I'm gonna pull off this and I'm gonna push down on the paper as well. All right, so here is my eye. Oops. And then we're gonna have a little bit of fun with these holes. I'm gonna string um, this. They're, I don't even know what you call them. Um, it's in the embroidery section. And so I don't know if it's called floss, but we're gonna have them hanging down at the bottom. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. And this is great. I've, I've seen it before. I've never done it myself. I tried it out a little bit last night <laughs> before I you know knew I was gonna record this just to make sure that that's what I wanted to do. So we're gonna try something fun together. All right, here is my S. I think this looks better. Okay. okay, so that's done. Let's do a little bit of the hearts just so that you can kind of get a feel. So I did the same, I used the same white as the background here. So it's the Swiss dots. And then I have the two different yellows from the Nina Star, Star Dream pearlescent cardstock. <laughs> and they're gonna pop up and I'm just gonna have different uh, you know, different combos so that it'll bring it all together, look a little different, but still very cohesive. And I'm using a lot of colors. I'm using, you know, sort of like the rainbow to match the wrapping paper, but I didn't want it to get too crazy at the same time. So you can see I sort of kept the outline, the same color, just so that it's easy on the eyes. And then, oops. Let's see, this will go on this one. And then we can even put like a little yellow 
Oh, maybe we'll do that. That's so cute. Okay, so I'm going to put, flip this over. So you can see this isn't really planned out. This is going to be, the hearts is going to be kind of all over like this, right? Okay, so we have a few here. I just wanted to show you what, what I wanted to do with that. All right, so let's get to the fun part. So you can see, even though we put this on, this will still move back and forth because there's nothing in the way of where we put the, the ribbon, okay? So that will be easy to move. Now what we want to do is with this, I wanted to cut about 10 inches because then when we fold it in half, it'll be five inches and then we can trim, we can always trim afterwards. <laughs> so um, I have this down here. I know you can't see my numbers, but I'm just gonna cut off 10 inches and I'm gonna show you what I wanna do. So we're gonna fold it in half and this can be any string, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be rotating these colors. So I'm gonna fold it in half like this, okay? And then I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna stick this from under, in through the hole, both holes, both the white and the blue, and I'm gonna open up this into a loop. And then I'm gonna stick the string in between and then pull the string out. So this is going to have a bunch of different colors hanging from here. So let's do a few of these. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep cutting the 10 inches for the yellow and we'll rotate the yellow in a second. So I'm gonna do a few so you can see and then we'll put it all together. It's gonna to be so cute. All right, so there's four colors in between. So the next yellow is the fifth one or the sixth one. So again, I'm gonna go from under, pull it through, create a hole, a little circle or a loop. And then I'm gonna stick the two tail pieces inside the hole and pull it through. So it's gonna look like that. So I'm gonna do the next one, the next yellow. So it's gonna go here, go under, and you wanna keep everything consistent so that your, your strings are gonna look the same. So we're gonna pull it through Oh my gosh, so cute. All right, I'm gonna do one more for the yellow, right? Cause it's one, two, three, four, yellow. Yep, this is the last yellow. I'm gonna do 10 inches. And I got this from Joann's and um, it was a bulk package with a ton of colors. So one, two, three, four, so it goes right here. But it could be any, like I said, any type of string. I think this is going to look so cute. All right, so yellow is done. Let's do the next color. I'm going to move this aside. So it doesn't take up that much string. Let me pull this off. Um, oh, here's the beginning. Like the only thing is the hardest thing is finding where to start. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the red. All right, cut a few. So same thing, right? Fold it in half. Loop it from underneath, stick it through the hole. When you pull it through, you wanna make sure that you have a hole right here or a little loop. Stick this in between and then pull the string up and out. So look how cute that's gonna be. All right, we're gonna continue. We're gonna do just a few more just so that you can get an idea of what it looks like. The red is always gonna follow the yellow 
And then I'm gonna tie the ribbon and then we're gonna put it on the stick so that you can see what that looks like. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay, so let's do, I'm gonna wrap this really quickly. I think I'm gonna go this way and then have the, the two straws coming out here with the six hanging up here. I don't know. We're doing this on the fly, so. <laughs> and I always measure it like this, give myself extra room and With my ribbon, I always have way sharper scissors to use. So give me just one second, here we go. I'm gonna cut it off here. And I just wanna make sure, you know, it's even on both sides, so. I know this isn't, this isn't a lesson in tying a ribbon, but since we're here, <laughs> This is how I do it. I'm gonna tie it once, and I'm gonna go perpendicular, so it's like this, and I want it tight. I'm gonna hold that down, and then I'm gonna do a double knot. So the whole time, my index finger is down there, and then I'm gonna pull this through. So it's nice and tight. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can do this on camera. <laughs> I'm just gonna loop it through like this, make them even. Now before you pull this tight, this is where you can kind of make your adjustments, right? So you can kind of twist things around and then you make it tight. Perfect. And then we'll trim it afterwards. But so now we know that's down. Basically what I wanna do is like this. Actually, we're gonna pull this up a little bit more. We can put it like that and have it str strung through like that. Let's see what that looks like. My present is underneath, or my, where's my third one that it is? Oh, did I put that? Oh, but you can't really see the, I'm trying to think what's the best way to showcase this. You can loop it like this. It needs to be higher. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna pull the string up a little bit more, or the ribbon. Or do I want to do it on the side? What if we did it like this? I know. What if we did it like this? Or I wonder if we just... So my bow is gonna be on the side like this. This is going to run through. Maybe I won't even have the straw. I'll just be this. That will be cute, right? And then I'll tie this. I'll tape this from behind. So this is going to be the present. It's going to be a side bow like this with the little tassels coming down saying six. It's gonna be cute. All right, I'm gonna leave it like this. And then you can see this is where we add the hearts. You can add the hearts onto, oops, that's where my face is. We can add some hearts up here. We can also add some hearts on the actual white. So you can kind of see, that would be so cute. We can even add some 
onto the ribbon. So the yellow makes it pop out a little bit more. So I'm super happy with that. You guys get the picture. Let's continue stringing this. So let's pull out the different colors that we have. All right, white is next. Well, we need to finish the red, sorry. One more red, so let me cut that. So you guys have to tell me, is this too much? <laughs> um, I know it's too much. We shouldn't be spending this much on a present, um, this much time, but it's so beautiful, right? I mean, that's the whole point. And not only that, I'm not even gonna put, you know, our name on this present. We don't need to, because as soon as we walk in, everyone's gonna know we bought, it came from us. No one's gonna forget that this was our present. And it's just gonna be so stinking cute. That's what I love about presents, right? If we're gonna spend that much time picking out something that's perfect to give, it should also look perfect. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna cut some pink. I'm gonna move this up a little bit and let's cut some pink string. And actually it turns out we didn't even need the glue gun. So far, every time I've wrapped a present like this where I've done something extra, it everyone notices. It's so funny. We gave, um, I did a present, and actually I think it was also a video on here, um, did a present for a little girl, and then the next time we went to another little girl's birthday party who was present at the first, at the original one, and she was so, like she said, that was all she wanted to see was what we were going to bring. It didn't even matter what was inside the present. <laughs> so that's kind of, that's just where I am with this. Let's just go all out, right? That's what we crafters do. All right, so I'm looping, going under, right? Making a hole. And then pulling this through. And I'm sure you guys already do this now. This is great for like um, gift tags. Um, ribbon goes through like this really, really cutely too. So it's just an easy way to tie something. All right, let's see. We're almost done with the pink. I need one after this, one more. Right, she will forever remember turning six. Okay, I'm gonna loop this through. And then we're done with the pink. And then we have blue and I had another, oh, white. Okay. So, you know, I really like the whole color scheme. The green is in the wrapping paper but it's not overwhelming. We use the blue twice so that it kind of ties in our theme. And then the different color string are all colors within the wrapping paper. Okay, so let's do our white and then we're almost done, white and blue. And then I'm gonna tie this up so that you can see what that looks like. I know, let me see, here's my string. All right, so I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna move this aside for a second and I'm gonna cut this. And then we can trim this later. You can see because I'm, the pink I cut way too long, but we'll just trim it right across and make sure that it's all straight. And then, like I said, you can add your hearts throughout the present. And I think that's going to really tie in everything. Okay. And we kept it, even though it's a lot of colors, kept it, I think it looks really clean. So let me pull this down so you can see it. Because our, you know, everything kind of has its place. 
So again, the blue is you know in the banner, the green is running through, but it's a pale light green. And then with the yellow and the white hearts, the white ties in with everything. And then we have just two colors for the hearts, even though it's three different, or actually four different um, types of paper, it's only two colors. So we have three shades of yellow and one white, and then we're gonna sprinkle that throughout. So it kind of all ties together, but it's not overwhelming. Okay, let's finish this off with the white. And we're almost done. So cute, I can't wait. Okay, so this goes after the pink. So lift this up, stick it through, loop it. Now with the circles, I use my Cricut to cut everything, but if you don't have a Cricut, you can use um, a crop a dial, a hole punch. So you can do that however, whatever with whatever you have at home. And I feel like you can do this fun string stuff with cards, um, scrapbooking, even in your planner. Okay, the last color I have going, and I'm gonna turn off my glue gun, is the blue. Oh, here it is. I am just loving this. I think it's so cute. Okay, let's pull out the blue. And the blue, we have one, two, three, three spots left. So I'm gonna cut this three times. Okay, move that to the side. Here we go. So fold in half. Go from under, loop it through, make a circle, pull your tails through, <laughs> and then tighten. Last one, oh my gosh. Okay, we'll trim that at the end. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pull this through. I think I might just glue this down. So actually, because the glue gun is still hot, I'm gonna pull this through like this. And I'm just gonna hot glue it down. So now I'm putting hot glue on the ribbon because first I put it on the present and now I'm putting it on the ribbon so it will overlap and go all the way over here. So here's our present. Now I'm gonna pull all the strings down so that I can cut across. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna to... 
don't pull too hard because then you're gonna have like bangs where you pull down and then the, the middle is, is long but then the sides are gonna be too short. So I, I was pulling them but gently just to get a feel for it. And then I'm just gonna cut it like that, okay. So cute. All right, I mean, just think, we can do this for banners. You could do it, you know, like for on your wall. Um, you can do mini ones and do it for a cake topper. You can do it like this for a gift. I am absolutely in love. Oh, the only thing is I like to trim my ribbon. All right, we're ready to go to a party. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.